So in this video, I'm going to go over the best miner to mine Ethereum on all LHR graphics cards. Now, MB Miner recently had an update and I'll be going over how to install MB Miner and unlock up to 75% mining Ethereum on all LHR cards. I will also go over the profits on the RTX 3060 Ti with the 75% unlock. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of Miner. Okay, so this is my test bench and it has the RTX 3060 Ti LHR. Now the LHR graphics cards will reduce your hash rates mining Ethereum by half, but I'm going to test MB miner, which will get about 75% hash rate mining Ethereum, which is the highest unlock as of right now. So first I have the most recent NVIDIA graphics card driver which is version 496.49. Once you install the driver, let's go ahead and download MB Miner. Now the easiest way to find MB Miner is just searching it. And then make sure you click on releases. Once you do so, you will be on this page. And this is the most recent version of NB Miner and they made a significant improvement with the LHR graphics cards mining Ethereum. Here are all the new changes with this version. So then you want to scroll down to assets and download NB Miner 39.6 underscore wins it. Once downloaded, you'll get a folder that you'll need to extract the miner program. The easiest way to extract the miner is by dragging the folder out like so. You can then delete the original folder. Now, once you're in the new folder you extracted, you'll see all the coins that MB Miner can mine. What I like to do is create a shortcut of the bat file. And make sure you grab the shortcut file and drag it to the desktop. Next, you want to right click the bat file and click on edit. A Windows protection message will pop up. Click on more info and then click on run anyway. Then you'll see a notepad open up which will be your bat file. Next we want to replace the pool address and your ethereum wallet address. Now for the pool address I use ethermine.org. Now on this site if you click on start mining it will show you the pools for ethermine.org. Choose the pool that you're located in so for me it will be us east which is us1.ethermine.org. Copy this and replace it with the other pool address in the bat file. Then go ahead and grab your Ethereum wallet address and replace it with the wallet address in the bat file. And then after the wallet address and period, you can change the default to the name of your miner. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and put test. Now jumping back to the MB Miner website, it will state that if you have a LHR card running with this miner, it will default to dash LHR dash mode 1. But if you have trouble having the rig being stable, you can then input dash LHR dash mode 2 in the bat file. But since my rig is stable, I don't need to put anything else in the bat file. Make sure you save the bat file and then exit out. Now before we run the miner, let's change the overclocks and I'm going to use MSI Afterburner. Now just be aware that every graphics card is different, it's silicon lottery and my overclocks may not work with your graphics card. So first I like to put the fan speed at 80%. Let's increase the memory clock to plus 1200 and drop the power to 70% to first test this out. I'm going to fine tune it as we run the miner. Now running MB Miner, you're going to get a Windows security alert. Go ahead and allow access. So running MB Miner with these overclocks, I'm getting around 45 mega hashes pulling around 140 watts. So let's check this out. Next, I wanted to increase the power from 70 to 75%, but my hash rate did not adjust.
Then I wanted to decrease the power to 60%, but you'll see I lost a couple hash rates. So let's put the power back to 70% and increase the memory to plus 1350. It looks like it's still stable, so let's go ahead and increase the memory to plus 1500. So with these overclock settings, I was getting around 46.5 mega hashes pulling around 140 watts according to the miner program. So let's check this out. Next, I wanted to shave some power, so I decreased the power limit to 66%. Now I was pulling around 45.6 mega hashes, pulling around 130 watts. So let's check this out. Okay, and last but not least, if you want to check out the profits, let's head over to whatdomine.com. Now just be aware that the profits change daily. It's based on the price of Ethereum, the difficulty, and the block rewards. So as of right now, the price of Ethereum is around $4,173.83. Let's go ahead and change the eth hash algo to 45.6 mega hashes and the power to 130 watts. Now where I live in the US, I pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hours. So then calculating, I'm going to make around $3.80 a day before electricity or $3.49 a day after electricity. Now I did make this chart showing the LHR GPU breakdown and on top is using no unlocks. So you're getting about half the hash rates mining Ethereum. And on the bottom is using the updated NB miner, which unlocks about 75% hash rates. Now these are rough estimates with the best conditions, but be aware that every graphics card is different and your hash rates may be lower. And if you didn't want to grab this chart, it will be located in my Discord with a bunch of other good information. Now in order to join the Discord, you do have to do a quick CAPTCHA verification. Once you do so, you will see a section called Rules. And make sure you click on the green check mark on the bottom. Then the full Discord will open up. And then go ahead and scroll all the way down until you see helpful info and links. And it will be in this section called Weekly Mining Profits Excel. And it will be this file called Weekly GPU Profits. I do also want to mention that this file also has other useful information about Ethereum mining if you want to check that out. Alright, so thanks for checking out my guide on how to unlock up to 75% mining Ethereum on all LHR cards using MB Miner. Now, I believe it will only be a matter of time until we get the full unlock mining Ethereum with all LHR graphics cards. Now, do you think it's possible? Let me know in the comments below. Only time will tell. And I'll have all the links in the description below if you want to check them out. And if you have any questions you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday, 4.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub if you're excited to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan. So make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.